Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Shoes. Welcome back to Transport Fever 2 on our modded series in the United States in our dry biome in the Midwest of the United States. So that was a lot of United States dry and Midwest in that whole intro. But we are getting started again. If you recall from last video, if you haven't watched last video, be sure to do so unless if you just wanna skip ahead. But if you recall from last video, we were making a rail line for a passenger train line from Cleveland all the way over to, I think it was Fremont? Yes, Fremont. Ah, I got it right without even looking. That's good. So Fremont can use fuel and stuff like that. However, I can bring in fuel from over here to over here. And I don't think there's any fuel plants, so. Uh, the only fuel plant is over by Augusta, which is so far away, and then over by Cleveland actually is one. So we could do that, but that's going to be a lengthy build. So we're just going to try doing some pedestrian lines for right now and seeing where that goes. And let's get started. I have to kind of build up some money and kind of improve the workflow for our tools line and our pedestrian line inside Cleveland. So let me do some of that and we'll get started. All right, so I just added a bunch more vehicles to our production line, and I didn't do anything with the Cleveland pedestrian line. Oh, I should probably do that because there's plenty of people waiting. We'll add one more cart to that. But I've been just kind of adding carts as time's gone on and just really trying to make a little bit more of a profit. So with that being said, we are just going to work on more of this rail line until we can basically finish it. So enjoy me building it, I guess. Okay, so we finally have it set up, but this is a very, very long line from Fremont to Cleveland. So we're gonna have to try to figure out the best way to do this. We're only gonna start off with one train first, but the problem with that is too, is that this train could, I mean like this whole entire line could probably use three trains if you really wanted to, which is kind of difficult. But in the process, we actually earned uh, another locomotive. So I'll show that to you soon. But in Fremont, we do now have a line set up. You saw me set it up very briefly. Uh, it is now the Fremont Pink Line. I don't think anyone's using it yet, but people will soon, especially once we start getting more people to use our train station. Now it's kind of funny with the train station here. This is completely flat right here, so I decided to spend the extra money just to kind of get it through. It would save us a lot of money because the train wouldn't have to climb in the process of getting into the station. Plus, in the future, you can build roads above it if you really wanted to. Anyhow, so let's see how much it would cost us to build a locomotive for this line. So the general, I'll move it over a little bit more so you guys can see. So if we add this, add, it's already at a mediocre when you add one of these carts. 
we add four. I think that's the best way to go. How much is that? 56 for capacity. Uh, so it's 28 miles an hour, a little bit more than the Baldwin six wheels. So the little extra mileage uh, gets it there slightly quicker, but it's more about the horsepower and the track effort. So that is all good. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna see how it does, but that means we have to pull out $2 million. So let's pull out the $2 million. Let's set up our line. And for those guys, $2 million locomotive. Here we go. Excuse me, you can't find a path. Oh, that's why you can't find a path. There is no path. Let's just fix that and do this. There we go. Easy enough. Boom. Oh, don't want to buy another one. <laughs> there we go. That's what I wanted to do. All right, we're going to lose money first, but we'll speed it up, and I'll get back to you guys on what happens. Probably do a little bit more improvements elsewhere, and hopefully just make more money because that's what we're here for. So I'll be right back. All right, so welcome back. I unfortunately had to pull out another loan, so quite a bit kind of happened. I had to increase the productivity of our Cleveland Blue Line along with the productivity of our tools line over in Cleveland to make things work out better. So now this Cleveland slash Fremont line now has more people on it than it ever had before, which is 37 out of 56 for its capacity right now. Let's head back to Cleveland right now. We are catching up. We did lose a lot of money. It, unfortunately, it's what happens when you transport people. You kind of have to invest in it. it. Takes a minute for them to start getting moving. So we should be making money here shortly. This is very unfortunate with what I have right here right now, but hopefully it will be profitable. It's really something that's been kind of deterring us from being successful. But other than that, every line is profitable. The Fremont pink line is kind of struggling, but hopefully it will kind of pick up soon. And we're just gonna keep going. I'm seeing what else I can do for a project. I'm happy we fixed that one, but now we really have to make the money and we have to figure out what else to do. And we're kind of stuck where we are, which kind of sucks because Cleveland and Fremont are the only two closest cities without having to pay even more money than what we paid last time. So we'll have to figure out what else we want to do and I'll figure that out. So let's just kind of build up our money and see where it goes. Okay, I figured out another project. So we are on the other side of this map which I didn't want to do, but I felt like this is the only thing we can do right now until we start earning some more money and figuring out life, basically. <laughs> so over here at, at Wichita, uh, so what we have here is quite obviously a farm and then quite obviously a food processing plant. And then we can bring it right to Wichita. So that is gonna be very easy for us to do. The food is on the other side of town, not a big deal. We can figure this out very well. So we're just gonna put an unload stop over here. Can you highlight the whole thing, please? Yeah, we'll just put it here so it's closer to the middle. And what we'll do is we will actually connect a road up right here. And then basically just have our horses bring over more bread and food and stuff like that. That will be just fine. We're gonna grow this town a little bit and then maybe expand off of this one as well. And we got places like Anchorage over here where we can do another tools line. We can also have a fuel line over here. There's a fuel plant and stuff like that. I guess I could also do a construction line wherever there's stone may be. And then we actually make our way over to Cleveland. So it's really not that far away. The only problem is you can't really get Cleveland to Rochester in a very efficient way. So I'm trying to figure out how to incorporate boats, but then also something that's cheap can bring over people and stuff like that it's just a whole mess right now we will figure it out though but we're gonna go back to Wichita and we're gonna do what we just said So welcome back. We are 
doing this thing again where we use a bunch of horses just like the tool line that we made and it's going to be pretty crazy. So just a little overview. We have two lines. We have a uh, Wichita grain line. This one has 16 horse carts right now and it's going to pick up from our little farm here and bring it over to the food processing plant. So they should be sick, shipping 64 grain in total and then we have eight carts for the other one so about 32 food over to our city through our green line over here and everything's gonna work out well hopefully and we will make more money a little bit of an overview is that we're making money on every line except for the lines we just made because they're getting acclimated to this new system and this is a crazy amount of horse carriages so We'll just wait until that kind of settles itself out. But we're making great money. That's great. One thing I did forget to mention, by the way, is that in Cleveland, we actually moved our bus stations a little bit. So they're a little bit more further apart from each other. And I think this one at Central Street used to be up over here. And the one at 11th Street used to be right over here. As for our tool line, we could actually add a third train if we wanted to because right now we are transporting everything we possibly can with our trains, but we are not shipping enough and we're at maximum productivity. So we could fix that, but I'm just going to leave it as is right now. Everything's making money over here. That's great. How many icons do I need, right? This is just crazy. Over in Fremont, everything's working just fine. I think our pink line is making more money which is great yes it is our grain line is now making money and our pedestrian train line is working just fine 56 maximum people coming into Fremont right now and how many people are getting on board we have 47 on board that's great and we're making over half a million dollars on it so it is a long journey but people have that opportunity to use it and pedestrian line over here it's getting crazy 55 people so we'll keep an eye on all that stuff however I think this is where I'm gonna end the video I'm over a million dollars now I kind of feel a little bit guilty because we really just finished a simple line over here and ooh, multi multiple vehicles in very poor condition I'll fix that for next video uh, in between videos I will but as for Wichita I think this is a great way to start on another side of the map and kind of complete other lines to like Huntsville, Irving, Burbank, uh, Cambridge, Rochester, and kind of connect them all up. So I feel like once we have a plane, it will be great to have Cleveland and Rochester have two airports, but I'm thinking that we can really do some really neat projects that would use up a lot of money, but may make us some pretty good money, where we kind of have it go through the canyons and stuff like that, and kind of weave in and out but yet still make us money we need to make money so we'll figure that all out in next episode i thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy this video or if you want to help support me out i would like for you to hit that thumbs up i would highly appreciate it any comments suggestions concerns anything like that leave them in the comment section down below if you haven't subscribed already be sure to do that and guess what join our discord as well do those two things send me a message saying you did those two things and I can give you a free shout on the next three videos. So be sure to take advantage of that situation. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.